Hey guys, it's Lego Growl here with an all new mock actually. Not a modular. I like modular, but I wanted to show you this mock I made of a jungle fortress. So this is gonna be pretty cool seeing this. So it's not much. It's a wall and uh, you know not anything too serious. But it does have some cool details that makes it into uh, you know decent thing so let's get started so I chose actually these minifigures for a very specific reason something that I will reveal I'll try to reveal it I'll try to have it even out by January the 1st 2019 I'll try to have it out but these minifigures and you will probably see by tomorrow I'll probably have a couple of videos explaining and showing some things about this very special thing that's happening. And these minifigures are very special too. They're very, very special, actually. So we have this weird guard guy. He has a name, but I can't tell you anything about these guys. He's a, just a guard, I guess. That's what I'll say. Even though he's not just a guard, but I'll just say that he is. Because I'm not going to say anything. But I'm trying to get it out by January 1st, 2019. But here. But you'll see more information definitely between now and then. So here he is. He's bald. He just... I don't know if I would call him bald. He has weird hair. Print, I don't know. He's weird. Here is his torso. Kind of like a... You know. He has an axe. So he goes right here and then I have him which I cannot tell about either because he is a very special part of the thing where is he he is very special and important part of the thing and he has a dog too he's like we'll just say because I'm not supposed to tell you what he is we'll just say He's a person trying to steal the treasure from this jungle temple. And this guy's guarding it. So, you guys, let's get on to the actual build here, which is the important part. So, um, there's a lot I did with this build, and I don't know, it was different than a lot of builds. And uh, what I did it wanted to tell you guys is this is a wall build, is what I call it. It's a wall, is what I call it, even though it is kind of... It's called a wall, too, I think. But I don't usually like wall builds. They're like builds that are just a wall, so you have nothing behind them. Like, nothing at all. Like, it's just a wall. Now, I usually don't like wall builds. In some cases, they can be okay. And a perfect example of a wall build is the bridge fight from Ninjago, the movie. The Ninjago movie. That one, you know, that one, it's a bridge and then there's a wall. Just a door that leads to nowhere. Also, um, Yang's, or I mean, our Jitsu Battlegrounds from Ninjago is a perfect, perfect example of a wall. It has two huge doors and then nothing there. You know, it's kind of good to have things there. But, you know, what can I say? So, here is a wall build. So, you can see it. Then over here, I actually just put a random fence that's, like, super old. There, I made it look, I want to make it look like, you know, there was fences around here. But then they, you know, got old and kind of got destroyed over time. Which is nice just to have one fence, too. I think it looks kind of destroyed, like, you know, like I was meaning it to be. Then I have plants on the ground that are kind of taking over the area. And I kind of dirt here. Some stones on both sides. You know, but there's just plants growing out of control in the grass. Then over here I have, you know, this. It's a crazy mountain kind of rock thing here then. And then I have a window in this place to make it look like a castle. Because you can't say that it's a temple, a jungle temple, without even having any sign of a jungle temple. So it's kind of a rock. And then I made this spider web with a tarantula from the Lego City Jungle Explorers, which is really cool. I really like this tarantula. I 
You've probably seen one of these before, but if you haven't, this is just a really, really nice thing. And I think it has like a Black Widow mark on it for some reason. But it's a tarantula. And it's red, but you know what? Who cares what it is? But I did put then a fence up here and a parrot on top of the fence. And then I put some walls here to make it look like a fence. Otherwise it would kind of look weird, just like this. But, you know. And then this is what's kind of holding the spider web up. And I made it so that, you know, you could twist it around, kind of adjust the spider web. Uh, kind of fell out, but it, it usually won't fall out. So and then, here's the mountain, if I can move this over here. It's just a mountain brush, and it's really nice. This is like... Pretty much all I have to say about this set. Um, in the back, there is one thing that I did want to show you. It's a gold, and there's a map chamber. I think this is what the people are trying to get if him is trying to get, and he's trying to guard that gold. So here's the gold. It's a gold nugget, and here, and then a bucket that's kind of leaning. I actually made it like that. It's not completely connected so that it kind of leans a little. It's really nice. Here up here you could put a mini figure, there's the back of the parrot, and here's pretty much the back, nothing super cool, but you know, it's nice I guess. And then all together here is the set, or the mock. I like it a lot, I, I think I did a good job, I don't know, comment down below what you think I did, what it needs, what it should have been like, but I think I did a good job, um, yeah, I think it was nice. Uh, yeah, I really think it's good, but really like the fence, and, you know, I don't know. I think there's some things I could have done better, but I didn't have a lot of pieces since my modulars have taken up a lot, a lot of pieces so far. And, you know, it's just hard to bake the big divide perfectly, but I think this is pretty good for now. Maybe I'll do something on this later or something different, but for now, I think it's pretty good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Wait, no. I'm not going to put my hand in the camera this time. Okay, goodbye.